with me today is Dan Preston of Illuminati. Welcome, Dan. Thanks for uh, taking time for us. Thank you. So uh, tell me a little bit about Illuminati. Where did they come from? I know you'd actually uh, purchased another company to create the uh, one that you have today. Uh, well, I've been in the defense industry for a little over 20 years. Uh, my first company we sold to Boeing uh, and Argon ST. Um, I had a non-compete for about five years, and I, when I came off the non-compete, uh, Mark Zuckerberg gave me a $48 million contract to s build solar electric aircraft for them. After that, we transitioned into Rotorcraft. We acquired the Gyrodyne company, primarily because the transmissions have more hours logged on them than any other VTOL ever made. So on the QH-50, we're at 7.9 million hours logged for the Navy, and we started developing electric variants. We've also acquired companies that make rotor blades. Over the last 34 years, the rotor blade company that we acquired has made blades for 154 different models of gyroplane and helicopters. So this is the next generation. The first generation, you actually hold a, a unofficial record, if you will, as far as time in an all-electric aircraft. Okay. Well, for an all-electric fixed wing, we're the only company in the world that's gone perpetual. It's a solar electric that can fly at 85,000 feet and we have enough battery capacity to make it through the darkest night of the year, which is the winter solstice. So since we're above the weather, that plane never has to land except for maintenance. On the rotorcraft side, we converted a Gyrodyne Wyron, updated the avionics, replaced the power plant and the blades with modern variants, and an electric motor that we built that's 124 horsepower. So we set an unofficial record of 54 minutes hovering with a 185-pound pilot. And then this year we decided to try to bring a, an electric gyro to Oshkosh, which is this little guy here. Okay. Uh, a little bit of a conventional uh, airframe, but it's really a test bed for our nacelles. So the nacelles are 40 kilowatts each, intermittent, 30 kilowatts continuous. We have 174 pounds of thrust each. So it's a 260 pound aircraft with the batteries, 340 pounds of thrust. It is a rocket. On the hover, most people talk about endurance but they're always talking about forward flight. To actually do vertical at hover, that is an amazing feat to have that much time. Going forward, this is the next step to what? We licensed the rotor heads from Dick DeGraw for his three-bladed jump gyro. People know it as the Gyrino, and also his Mini Age 56, which is a high-speed variant of that jump head. We're partnering with Barnaby Wayne Fan for Northrop Grumman for non-military applications to do a very high-speed variant of this. So we've demonstrated 208 knots already in our gyrocopter. Um, only Jay Carter has gone faster. And we hope to, to sell them and placard it at around 160. That's pretty phenomenal. I look forward to seeing that uh, and, come out. And interestingly enough, w once we go to that, that higher speed variant, it extends the battery from 54 minutes to two and a half hours. That is unheard of at this point in time. Well, because we're, we're, we can slow the rotor down to minimum drag configuration, and over 130 knots, we need no lift from the rotor. That's awesome. Well, thanks. Uh, greatly appreciate your time today. The desire for adventure lives in the heart of every aviator. Built on passion and unlimited attitude, Waco Aircraft Corporation is dedicated to turning that desire into a reality. Waco Aircraft's team of artisans use handcrafted techniques from the 1930s, combined with the latest technologies, to bring two of aviation history's most renowned biplanes back into the skies.